Jerusalem was quiet after three days of clashes between police and Palestinian youth at a site that is holy to Jews and Muslims. In general, in and around the old city, the situation is relatively calm. There are extra police uh, units, officers, border police, undercover units, special patrols that are in and around the old city in order to both prevent as well as respond to any incidents, stone throwing incidents or any attacks that could take place in the area. He said that police responded to aggression by Muslim demonstrators. Police units were organized and responded and entered the Temple Mount area uh, at about 6.30 in the morning at the beginning of this week. Uh, in order to prevent those disturbances, we had a full-scale riot which took place on the Temple Mount. The Israeli police uh, locked down and shut the entrances of the Al-Aqsa Mosque, maintaining those disturbances within a few minutes and the regular visits on the Temple Mount continued both by tourists as well as uh, Jews. Palestinians, however, said the police were responsible for the violence by entering the Al-Aqsa Mosque. For Muslims, the Al-Aqsa Mosque is a red line. I don't agree that anyone should take it from me. It's mine. I live in the old city and the police won't let me enter the area of the Western Wall. Why should Israel go into the Al-Aqsa Mosque? Netanyahu was just trying to make trouble. Both Israelis and tourists visiting Jerusalem's old city did not seem especially concerned by the recent violence. Yes, I heard there were kind of uh, demonstrations or something like that. But uh, this is something, uh, you see, everything is peaceful. So as, the, as long as it's, it blasts, it's going away and everything is peaceful in our time. We were passing by, we had uh, some things to do in Jerusalem and uh, we said that we don't want to miss the opportunity to come and visit the old city while we are here because uh, it's very special to us. It is odd to see, you know, all the police people with the machine guns on the street, I mean heavy, heavy machine guns, but we're protected I guess. We haven't watched the news, we've just been traveling, so we're just happy to be here. Well a little bit, you know, we hear bits and pieces, but I have like... Um, my fiance Sylvia Becker said, a whole family over here. And um, they kind of keep us posted on uh, what's going on, and we, uh, we trust them. If they say it's safe to come, then uh, we think it's safe to come. Of course, we always have our wits about us. We came to be here, whatever it might be. So it's uh, just a journey of love and faith and trust. So it's not a factor as far as what else is going on. Next week, the Jewish holiday of Yom Kippur coincides with the Muslim feast of Eid al-Adha, and tens of thousands of visitors are expected in Jerusalem's old city. Police say they are prepared and will do whatever is needed to make sure it's safe for everyone. For the Media Line, I'm Linda Gradstein in Jerusalem.